Hello everyone, and thank you for rejoining me here in Kaiserreich, playing as that good old Romania, led by Carol, the handsome second, who has a very interesting life. But right now we're middle in the war with Bulgaria, and right now, I actually did notice in our decisions here. If we can get to Rosofia in 20 days, we get war support, political power, and our allies get more war support as well, which looks like a very, very good thing. So, I've directed my horses, our cavalry, our mighty strong cavalry, to race to Sofia. Now, please move your legs, horses, because uh, we need you to. Oh, no. It looks like we've uh, startled some of the enemies here, and they're like, oh, no. Please don't let it move. So, Sofia shall be ours. Please don't let them move either. Thank you. You know what? If we're going to attack, we might as well do that. Very good. Hey, we got it. Very nice. I should come that way. Even if we can't capitulate them yet, um, we should be able to. But you know what? We did it. Beautiful, my friends. Democracy prevails, and Bulgaria has surrendered. The armed, the joined armed forces of the Belgrade Pact have managed to revert the injustices imposed on us after the end of the Weltkrieg. Bulgaria will cede all disputed lands to the Belgrade Pact, but we must retreat our forces behind the border. An independent but greatly reduced Bulgaria will continue to exist, though, for now. Great! All that political power. And, of course, the Philippines has democracy. But who cares about democracy right now? Cool. Gotta be prepared for this, because we must be very, very ready what well, may or it may not happen. Cool. And I'll we'll pull you back out because I like my special forces. Well, special. Cool. Come right there. Thank you. Georga. That's a lot of political power. But we do have some comments that we must as well address. Uh, let's see. First one. Join the Entente. Someone recommends I join the Entente. Yes. That is my plan to eventually to join the Entente. That would be very good. Let's see. Over here. Actually, cheap army. I really want to emphasize artillery, which was another comment that someone said, yes, artillery forever, make artillery great again. Oh yeah, there it is. Even more artillery, yes, 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 for the love of God, yes. I might just make my divisions 40 combat width with an extra emphasis on artillery. Uh, that being said, another comment is destroy the International, destroy the Reich's Pact, and make sure you destroy the Moscow Faction or the Moscow Accords, which would be very cool, and maybe we can do that. Let's see. Uh, I do want to wait to get Malaxa, because you get more civilian construction speed, civilian factory and infrastructure construction speed. This is really good. These are okay, so we can wait on that. Gun-wise... Oh, look at that. 10% more construction speed, but we need to have Transylvania, which may or may not occur anytime soon. I don't really know. In the meantime, let's go ahead and grab better flight stuff. Cool. And right now we're supporting Dimitri, but... I did play, like, this campaign off-screen, playing as Carol II, and I... Oh, see? Assess the military. That's why I didn't choose that focus yet, because we could just bypass it as fast as possible. But, something that's really great is the Danube Delta. We get daily naval XP, which can be extremely good. But we must keep going on. Let me see. We should probably do Across the Carpathians, so we can start getting the decisions to support Separatists in Transylvania, which means I have to really start pumping out a ton more guns. Because we are going to need a lot of guns for what we want. Demobilizer. Oh no! Why? Ooh, the war's over. But the war finally done. The pack can stand down as a whole. Very good. What a relief. So we're no longer considered a major power. And we're pretty much done with a great game. Uh, I really don't want this. We do get political power. We get a partial mobilization. Someone takes power in Bulgaria that we don't really give a crap about. Mongolia declare one might clique. Don't really care. <sighs> we're on war economy. I really don't want to go down to partial mobilization. So we're going to hold on to this for a while. If not selected, activate the mission to demobilize our economy and lose stability. I don't want to lose stability. But, you know, we might just have to. Guangxi federal government proclaimed. What the hell's going on in China? Oh, the League of Eight. Six provinces! Usually in my Kaiser games, I don't usually see the League of Six provinces survive, but you know what? Here they are. Federal government. God, China. What a mess. What a giant mess. But we need a lot of guns. Yeah, I'm really going to hammer home on guns right now. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to put you guys on low because we need guns, 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 guns. Like crazy. So that once we can get this focus done, we can do the next focus done. And then start arming resistance members in Transylvania. So the factory workers strike. While the Red Scare caused the fall of France to syndicalism has largely blown over. Succeeding Romanian governments have quickly or been quick to stamp out labor agitation wherever it sprouted. With the country gradually industrializing, labor disputes increased. The Legion has been harsh, very harsh, on any kind of apparent syndicalization as green shirts are regularly employed or volunteered as strike breakers. With factory workers threatening to go on strike in Bucharest, authorities have merely have to say the word and the Iron Guard will make short work of it, of course. Negotiations aren't out of question in order to avoid a crisis, or even simply wait it out until the workers give up. 
let them strike, which I don't like. Really don't like. But it might reduce national populism, which is okay with us. Punish them harshly? Nah. Negotiate a compromise? You know what? A compromise isn't bad. We have quite a bit of political power. Let's go with that. We can deal with these strikers as much as we might not like them. Cool. 37. Is there anything for 37 that we could really use? Plane-wise, we're looking okay. Ship-wise, I'm not really sure if we'll ever be, really be, ever be able to get to ships as a minor power, but that's okay. Uh, I don't really want, care about guarding Serbia. I'm sorry, Serbs. I love you. Actually, if we go to war with Hungary, we might be able to call in, in the Serbs as well. Actually, they would probably like that too. Cool. But we got to go across the Carpathians. So, our war plans from over 20 years ago. While sound in theory got hampered and practiced by numerous factors, we will further refine them to be even more resistant in the face of enemy fire so that when the time comes, we will successfully make the daring leap across the mountains and liberate our kin. Now, we have to be very careful because if you don't know this, which I didn't know when I tried this, to do this focus, and well, we can do the focus naturally, but to get Transylvania and get a lot more resistance in Transylvania to unite the Romanians under one government, one flag, what are you going to have to do to give you even more success, or more of a successful chance, I'm sorry, I cannot speak right now, is do Carpathian Hunters. Yes, we get, we must have Mountain Infantry too, which gives us the ability to do something, which I can't remember at the time of this recording, but we must have it so that we can do more stuff with across the Carpathians. Queen Wilhelmina abdicates a Dutch throne, oh no. No, not another monarchy, no. Man, we could have gotten married, man. Or our kids could have gotten married, actually we probably, we probably already have kids. Oh, I love this. Syndicalist revolutionaries in Switzerland, huh? Brat Overval... Overval Oh, dispersed industry, Spanish Civil War. That's disappointing. States General, Social Democrats. Come on, man. Look, you just ruined another country. That's okay, though. We still have King Carol here. Well, for now. We'll see what happens. Uh, definitely grab this. We need some of that. Um, who do we want to support? Probably the monarchy. Uh, we really don't care for the kingdom, though. Hmm... French assistance, we'll send up volunteers. How many can we send? Uno! I have just a guy for you. Improved cruiser hull. Nice. Improved cruiser hull. What does that do? Revived armor cruiser. Oh, I'll just go with a basic one. Cool. And that's why I sent that guy out, just so he could do whatever he needed to do. Guns looking pretty good. Actually, that's not too bad for what we need. And I will do this eventually. God dang it, you piece of the garbage. I need every factory we can possibly get. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hmm. We could strip one off of here. I really, I don't really want to do that though, but if we have to, so be it then. We just need to get a crud ton of guns. Ah, Canada invokes the War Measures Act. Ah, towards authoritarianism. Oh, and America has fallen to civil war. Oh. Huh. Oh god, the CSA has all of New England. That's really not good. Oh boy. Oh man. They even have New York. No, they have New York City as a core, but not upstate New York. That is. <clears throat> that is questionable. I mean, DC looks still okay-ish for now, but oh my goodness. Also, I'm joining here with my cat, biting my bedsheets, which he hasn't done in a very long time. Right, Bink? I should probably do a land focus. Yeah, land doctrine. We're going to superior, superior firepower because we're going to really focus on artillery, so if I can hit enemies harder with even more artillery, then... Oh, yeah. Well, why wouldn't you? Any more field marshals? No. So, we're going to use you then. So be it. Alright, so what do we do? Where are we going? What needs help? Who's getting attacked? That's actually probably a good question to ask. You guys can st uh, stay right there first. Yeah, there you go. Just kind of hang out. I'm not really sure what I'm going to have these guys do. Just mostly just defend for the moment, for now. Oh, are you guys getting attacked over there? Or are you attacking? These guys might be attacking. I know I don't really have the manpower the industry for this, but, you know, we could use army, army XP. Think. Don't bite me. Uh, can you help out? Yeah, you might be able to help out here. I'm not sure if it would be really useful, though. Um, do you have anyone helping us with the attack? No? Okay, we're going to stop attacking then. Bye-bye. Cool. Transylvania award. Demand Transylvania imp improves the king's influence, which is bad. We need Renew Pride. Uh, mobile warfare, mass assault. We're going to go with Legacy of Berthelot. So, Henri Berthelot headed the French military mission in Romania during the Valkyrie. <coughs> Excuse me, it was largely thanks to his efforts that we were able to rebuild our forces after the 1916 debacle and achieve several victories against a combined Central Powers offensive. As such, his legacy has been enduring amongst our officers, which, with many wanting to rebuild the Romanian army as he had in 1917. So, here we are. We need 500 guns. Oh, we can integrate. Oh, Silistria. Actually, that's really worth it. Uh, here, we need 50 political power, but mostly 500 guns, which we obviously do not have. 
but we're working on it. And we need to core this area, which removes resistance, and maybe gives us an extra factory or two. Not much, but one or two. Garrisons, thank you, you have a job. I wish we could all say that. Anyways, integration. We don't have to worry about this at all. Actually, hold on, before we forget, this is actually something cool right now at the time of this recording. We have a great game. We're, we're done. Okay, we already did Prosperity for All. Here's a little trick, a little neat thing, at least right now. You see this, high society contracts? We have total influence. I'd love a free 100 political power. That would be great, just like when we won the war against those evil Bulgarians. Please? Oh, we're still funding this thing, too. We get more stability. Nice! Ah, there we go. Free 100 political power. We didn't lose a single thing. Compromise with the guard? I don't think so. Actually... Would I get free 5% stability if I did that too? It's worth a try. Why not? Why not? Like the Pokemon. Oh, improved capital gunnery. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to use this stuff. But let's do it anyways. I need to get better at capital ships. Uh, go Nicaragua. Very good. So discontent. Nah. We'll see what happens in a good place. Forming Mota Marin Legionary Corps. So with Spain tearing itself apart in the bloody civil war comes to an opportunity. There comes an opportunity. The Carlos movement in Spain is seen as an ideological ally to the Legion of Archangel Michael and a number of legionnaires who have volunteered to fight for their similar cause. Ion, Mota, and Basile Banin are high-ranking members of the Legion and have already begun preparing for the core, while Condrinu wants Alexandru Takuzino, the Green Prince, to lead it. Not only could this potentially lead to a friendly regime in Spain, this would also give valuable military experience for young legionnaires eager to prove themselves. Of course, with tensions high at home, it may be wise to keep them here in case things heat up soon. Nah, mm, uh, we good. We good. No, there's quite a bit of lag. Anything here, we just gotta keep an eye on this one. 40 days before we switch things around, that's fine, whatever. Hmm, do that. And there you go. I'd love to send you playing, but we can't really afford that. Cool. Go ahead and defend. That's what I wanted to see. Even though we're getting hit quite a bit over here. This might not be the best idea we had. Eh, it might be okay, though. Come on. Oh, large legionary rally gathering. So, the Legion of Arc of Michael, basically. Prides itself in their mass rallies against thousands of supporters. These rallies, however, feature fiery speeches containing blatant anti Semitic rhetoric and increasing calls for violence against perceived enemies of the nation. Besides, the king's. See these as displays of power from his rivals as a blatant threat to his rule. Of course, King Carol could bestow Conjunu with his royal generosity and allow him and his thugs to parade all they want in exchange for favors, such as letting His Majesty take center stage or forbid it altogether. However, this would likely result in a livid response from the Legion and their notorious green shirts. I don't know why my accent changed right there. Allow it with a price. Mm, mm, I don't want to lose stability. I really don't. Or that's up. Whatever. It, it doesn't matter. Did we get more stability yet? Mobilize. Yep, total autocrat still. Love it. Just absorb all that XP. Oh, look at that, all that XP we're getting. So much. Totally so much. And we just funded the monastery. Thank you very much. Why does my voice keep going back that way? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I got some French tanks. Oh, good lord, no. Hmm. Oh, we got some more guns. Guns for the people. Can we please have more guns? Please? Mm, I want that so badly. Um, since we're fighting now... We have to be on the attack, and I uh, I really, really want either this one or the defense. But we gotta go with attack. Like, what we have to do... Oh, there goes someone else. That We have to attack hungry whenever they are going to be very weak, because they're looking really large now. We gotta get rid of them. Now they're about paternal autocrats, which we... Which we hate each other. But that makes sense. That makes sense. Good. Learn, 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 General. As well as you, Peter. Petra. Petra, Peter, whatever. Close enough. Okay, put you, keep them on low. We need more guns. Um, I really don't want to get anything that we're making right now. But you know what? Goodbye, planes. I need more guns. I'm only making roughly 30 a day. It's never enough. Yeah, but at least our efficiency cap isn't there yet. Oh god, we're losing the battle. Yeah, we lost. Alright. Oh, do we get that one yet? Hey, we got more stability, I think, too. Nice! Transylvania Ultimatum. No! Why do you hurt me like this? We do get political power out of this, but I don't care about political power. I just want more stuff. Demobilize. Three. If not selected. I don't even know what happens if you don't select it. Like, you need the event demobilize their economy. I'd rather just not get penalized, then. Just do that. God dang it, you pieces of garbage. Whatever. 
Cool, Transylvania War. Let's do this one. Military factory. So, if Romania is to succeed in future conflict, we need to make sure our industry is up to the task of producing enough equipment for our army. Absolutely. Uh, big disappointment. Not gonna lie. Huge disappointment. Mm. Thank you, okay? Oh, man. He's having a time in my bed sheets. Wow. Reconciliation with Bulgaria. And what many consider a surprising move, the new Bulgarian government has in what may be considered a reconciliatory tone and attempted to foster ties and build relations between our two nations, citing the stability of the Balkans as a key reason for fostering ties. While we are under no obligation to accept, perhaps doing so would be a great boon to Romania. Absolutely not. You know what? Bulgaria, as long as you don't want my territory, I think we can maybe work out a deal. Maybe? maybe. An art of the deal? Maybe? Maybe, maybe? maybe? Maybe not? Cool? Maybe? We'll see what happens. I don't know. But maybe we can be friends in the end. Maybe you, me, and a lot of other people. Maybe. We'll see what happens. So discontent. I really don't want to lose stability. I really don't. Now we have less than a thousand guns needed for our armed forces. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. 37. Grab that next. Even though I'll probably never be able to build these ships. Whatever. That's a nice thing to feel like. It feels like we can maybe build ships someday. Oh, no. No, not divisions. No. You know what? Fine. Don't hurt me like that, baby. No, I really don't want to do this, too. But we're going to do that, too. I, I, we need this immediately. Oh my god, you just had to make another division, didn't you? You just had to, didn't you? What a shame. Even though they don't have that many divisions on the border, which is kind of nice. I don't think Hungary is really liked by Austria that much. Hopefully, uh, Hungary pisses off everyone in the Dona Idribun, or, you know, under the crown, so that we can have a good time. Okay, the League of Six Provinces during the Zili Klee. That's interesting. Here's another thing we can do as well. This is a mess. But actually not too bad. It's, it's, it could get a lot worse. Yeah, bye. Bing, 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 bing. Alright, so this is what I'm talking about. So we have this division. Oh, maybe not. Uh, we don't need that division. Uh, you guys. Who, there's nothing I can do to make these things any stronger. Uses 1,200. Uses even more. I'm... What's in his union? What did you do? I might be able to convert you to... Mountaineers, so we get infantry equipment as well as manpower. Because these divisions, while well, they're not, you know, superb, these guys are only 18th combat with Mexico Joint and Third International. That's not good. These guys are still as well 18 combat with. So we're not really losing too much. We're just getting more strength in terms of artillery, which is, isn't too bad for a trade-off. I'm just finding any way I can cut more. Like uh, just cut, 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 cut. Like if I was in charge of a budget, I would be known as a slasher. In real life, maybe not. But for this campaign right now, yes, absolutely. So, Arvanchism has become a permanent feature or fixture in Romanian politics. No political movement, moderate or radical, can avoid it, and opposing it has led to horrible consequences for politicians perceived as traitors. In recent years, Iron Guard has embodied Romania's revanchist spirit and has been shamelessly fueling it in their heart, in their rhetoric. Because of it, revanchist rallies have begun intimately tied with the Legion, where they have been able to thrive. Restraining these rallies would prove costly, unpopular affairs, even if it would limit the Guard's influence and pervasion. Everything for country? Well, that sounds nice. Uh, why must you hurt our stability? Why? Yes, we want a greater Romania, but come on, man. We'll attack people when we need to. At least we get a core soon. That's nice. And we are finally positive on guns. Woo! Switching things around sometimes pays off. Sometimes. God, please don't kill yourself on the line, man. I just, I just want army XP. Totals in the Bharatiya Commune, no one cares. Come on, any day now. I know we can do this. We have to fund separatist cells. This is not terrorism. This is liberation. This is Romanian liberation. That's definitely, definitely the call we're making here. And a free core. Well, we spent 30 political power, so it should be our core. Are we there yet? Oh, we're super close. Super, super close. One more day. Two more days. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Oh, we did it. But now we have to wait 90 more days. God dang. See, this is why we got to push hard and fast for this. Oh, Carpathian Recon. So that's why we need Carpathian Hunters, so we can get Carpathian Recon. We lose daily command power, which is fine, but we map out the border defenses, with, which will strengthen our initial attack. Organized Transylvanian Iron Guard. Unfortunately, we have not done that. We can't do that, since we don't like the Iron Guard that much. We have weapon contracts, but we now have Carpathian Hunters next. The Vanatori, or Hunters, were formed in 1917, modeled after the French Chasseurs Alpine, in response to Austria-Hungary's elite Kaiserschützen. Mountain warfare will be inevitable in the future, and our mountaineers will, must be ready to fight a deadly modern war in the Carpathians, which is kind of good that we actually made our light infantry, or, you know, mountaineers. Which is kind of think, weird to think about. We are using mountaineers and... Mountaineers are called light infantry, so... And generally, generally. Funds for the cells, a completed decision, spread anti-Hungarian propaganda. Oh, we need to raise up this as well. 
to find separate tools. Oh, we do that one, and then we can do that. So we need to save up our political power. And there goes Switzerland. They've finally chosen a side. This is going to turn into one big third international. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. They even have uh, Mexico. The CSA is looking pretty darn strong. Hopefully Canada gets involved to destroy them, but you never have a guarantee. You never know what might happen. Um, we could do this ahead of time. That wouldn't be bad, actually. It's only 37. We could get more oil, but let's be real. Why would we need more oil? Even if I, even if I do extraction, all we have is literally oil. That's all I have? Then just do that. It's fine. Might as well do that since we already have someone in the field. Uh, even though they're not really doing too much right now. Mm. Please don't kill your divisions off. For the love of God, please, 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 please. You guys doing okay over here? Or? Oh, I might have chosen the wrong side. They just love attacking so much. If I leave, they might attack this division. Can you guys win here? Are you guys going to win here? Okay, if, as long as they're winning, I'm totally cool supporting them and helping them out. If they're not, though, count me out. Is this going down? Oh, it is going down weekly. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, we still have the great game. Mm, we need to get Transylvania quickly. A little bit of lag, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, that's quite a bit of command power. Oh, we actually won here. Wow, that's unusual. Go and come down here and see if we can do that. See what happens. Might as well hang out, see what we can get. We got, what's our stockpile? Hey, we got a thousand extra guns. Not bad, not bad. Infantry, we need to make you into more artillery-based divisions. <sighs> actually, we're making quite a bit of artillery. That's kind of nice. That's actually really kind of nice. Gun-wise, though, I'm going to go ahead and throw on another Mountaineer. We can probably afford it. Yes, we can. It costs a little bit more manpower. Totally cool, though. Support equipment, since we have these people in the field already, the 1937 general elections. Oh my goodness, throw that on there because we need it. So, since the rise of the Legion of Archangel Michael, Romanian politics have been affected by widespread parliament. I can't speak, I'm sorry. Paramilitary violence. Supporters of the Legion, also known as Iron Guard, often clash with the supporters of the king, regardless of allegiance. Paramilitaries regularly attack opposition politicians and businesses, with Jews, okay, often being targeted, despite the flagrant undemocratic prog programs of the government. The Romanian parliament has remained open, if only as a tool to maintain legitimacy and rubber stamp policies. As such, in this era of political violence and intimidation, general elections are coming up and the major paramilitaries are already planning to intimidate the opposition into submission or silence. Alternatively, it may be wise for the sake of the nation's stability to hold them back during the voting process. Intimidates voters? No, we good. The Sentinel overpowers the guard in some districts. Maybe a good thing to do. Hold back the paramilitaries for a few days? Yes. Yes, very good. Actually, how much support do we have? We don't want to lower our support. 45, that's not bad. Uh, that's probably the most out yeah, of everyone, which, which is good. Which is a very, very good thing. Also, yeah, apparently in this timeline, our leader, Carol II, isn't as wild as he was historically in our timeline. Like, uh, he was kind of wild. Let, throw in a couple parties here and there. Oh, baby, sounds like fun. But, Iron Guard expands. Membership into the Legion has soared recently, thanks to Kondrinu's recent successes and populist rhetoric. It is clear that his movement is more attractive to common Romanians, regardless of the captain's demo demagoguery, hurting the king's reputation and popularity in the process. That is not bueno, my friends. That is totally not bueno. Yeah. But you know what? Still in this timeline, we still have a Jewish mistress. That sounds, honestly, very wild. That sounds actually really, really cool. But that's just me. Uh, it's almost 37. Go grab 38, I mean. It's almost 38. Grab that. Very good. Go ahead and grab this, too. You might as well do that. It's not that ahead of time, but about a month, six weeks. That's not bad. Hawaii's join the co-prosperity sphere. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Hawaii. Cool. And we still have enough of this. Uh, motorized. Sigismund's coup in White Ruthenia. Okay. Nationalist coup. Wait. How many coups are we going to have? Nice. Hey, he's kind of handsome. Oh, Carpathian Hunter is very nice. Mountain infantry, too. Brilliant. Ooh, infantry. Hell's attack mountain. Oh, that might be incredibly useful for what we're about to do. Special forces attack. Transylvania War. Let's go ahead and do that one. So, our preparations have come, have led us to this moment, and our kin are crying out for us. The time has come to finally demand that, that which belongs to us and crush their unfair boundary that divides brother from brother. And let it, even if our neighbor dares say no, we have prepared accordingly, which we're not going to attack yet. We just get the decision to. We must do everything for the country first so we can get a bonus to attack and defense. We must do everything we can to make sure that we are successful. Absolutely everything. I think the Ausgleich is in 19... Is it 1937? It might be 37. I thought it was 38. So we might actually be behind already. Ooh, where is it? 37, 38. That is a wild symbol. Is that like an iron cross or something? 36. Oh, it is 37. Oh, Ausgleich renegotiations. Oh, they might have already done it. Oh, they're doing status quo. Oh, boy. Yeah, they declare war on white Ruthenia. Makes sense. 
That is unfortunate, which means we'll probably have to fight the entire Dona Adri Buena, just, you know, Austria-Hungary, or broken up Austria-Hungary, which really sucks. Ugh. When are they going to actually fix this focus tree? Because dualism restored doesn't really work the last time I tried it. Maybe they fixed it. The last time I tried it, it really didn't work, which sucks. Don't want to forget this. An invitation from Serbia. So, today we received a message from the Serbian Embassy inviting us to attend a second Congress of Belgrade in a couple weeks. Our allies wish to liberate the South Slavs that remain under the Austrian boot, and no doubt want us to assist in this endeavor. In addition, there are likely spoils that we can get out of an Austrian defeat, so it's imperative we at least attend the second Congress to formulate a plan of action, which is a very good thing. However, we just do not have enough divisions yet, which means... Raise that to high, because we still have this border over here that we have to guard. Five, six. Uh, we need more guns. It's, it seems like a common problem here. They were always running out of guns or something. Go down to two for now. Let's get one more thing of steel. That's going to be incredibly important. Good. Yep. Yeah. Guns, 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 guns. Guns out the wazoo. You know, I don't want to do this because we're trying to focus on artillery more, 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 more. But we have to do that. So, Ranches Rally. Ooh. The Congress chooses to attack Austria. So, the delegates in Belgrade have decided that with Bulgarian hegemony toppled, that it is now time to overthrow the Habsburg hegemony over Central Europe. Since most of the Pax members have extensive claims on the Austro-Hungarian Empire, their delegates are eager to finally end their respective national goals, but not all members are eager to throw themselves at the rotten empire. Regardless, it is time to officially announce our support for this plan or action or leave the Congress. Oh my gosh. I don't have time now to do that, man. But it'll take some more political power. Yeah, you know what? Reinforcements set to low. Okay, I thought that was Serbia. Please, Serbia. Please don't go to war yet. Please. If Come on, can we get Bulgaria in here? I love the Bulgarians. Bulgarians, you, me, and the Serbs. Actually, Serbia's looking pretty thick. I like it. Even at Montenegro. I do know they want Illyria, which makes sense. The question is of claims. So the plan of action decided that delegations have decided to formalize their claims on Austro-Hungarian Empire lands. Naturally, we have made sure to inform them of our government's ultimate goal to liberate the lands inhabited by ethnic Romanians, currently humiliated by centuries of oppression. Yes, oppression. Declare readiness for war. Oh, Serbia will prepare to attack Austria. We must be ready for war. Uh, I'm not ready yet. This is why I wanted to get there. Mm, no. No. Not yet. Why must you do this? I might just choose this for more soft attack and breakthrough immediately. I might switch around things later on, but I think it's just worth doing it now. We get more soft attack. That's pretty important right now. Oh, we will not be able to break through. There's no way. And I need an extra army here just to garrison this side. Oh, God, no. I'll pop out any division I have right now. I mean, uh, I'm really not liking this. Serbia, I, I know we have claims. We, we want stuff. Oh, actually, yes, yes, sign me up. Mm-hmm, there you go. Please, 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 please. The Balkan Research Initiative, though, is a great idea. Recently, Serbia set up the Balkan Research Initiative. An international pooling of scientific and investigative minds helped strengthen the region. Though not declared, it's clear that the initiative's primary goal is to bolster our military capacity in preparation for war against those who threaten us. Serbian diplomats have afforded us a formal invitation to the group, which would require us to divulge military and industrial secrets in exchange for our Serbian plans and information. It could be a lucrative endeavor, however. It could also result in us simply strengthening ourselves, themselves off of our hard work. How should we respond to the invitation? We don't trust them. We will join because we have common enemies. It just makes sense for us to join, so. 38. Bank, you still there? You okay? You biting my sheets, huh? Man, this is the longest he's ever been on my bed. I'll oh, grab this. Yeah, we need that. Come on, Serbia. Please don't declare war. I have two divisions guarding my border here. Ah! Come on, man. Please don't. I'm not going to click this yet. We don't even have this ready yet. There's supposed to be more resistance because these guys have it as a core now. But once we get, I think, army resistance, this will no longer be core territory, which we can raise resistance target. There we go, see? Which means they're going to spend guns and men to suppress, which we are going to do recon, which would be helpful, as well as spread anti-Hungarian propaganda, which we lose political power, but resistance target goes up by 10%. It's not much, but I think it's going to be worth it. Organize the uprising. Oh my god, we need more... Why? Why? Always need more guns. God dang. Portugal's... Okay, join the Entente. That's cool. Oh, yeah. You were still over here. Uh, you might want to get in that little conflict. Oh, you don't have enough guns, probably. Transylvania or... Mm, or war. Yeah. Cool. Everything for the country first, though. The remaining phrase... 
Total Petru Tara, literally everything for the country, is the official name of the Iron Guard. It's the duty of every Romanian to sacrifice himself for the country. And we need to remind the people of that. We get 10% more attack and defense, which is actually going to come in handy quite a bit um, when we're fighting the entire uh, Dona Idriabun. I know that they don't... Actually, they are in their own faction. Okay, that is not going to be good since it's on to... Technically, we do have Greece here, which would be kind of nice. Uh, there goes uh, Balaris, but, you know, whatever. That's fine. Actually, how much support points? 115... Oh, I'm just not feeling this one. I'm just not feeling it, man. I'm not feeling it, Mr. Krabs. That's not bad. Recon. That's not bad. We only have minus four. Actually, as much as I want to put engineers on for even more entrenchment in mountains, that's not bad. That's really, really, really not bad at all. The world is turning to crap. But happy 1938. Hope you're having a great year. Hopefully this, you know, the world won't turn into crap, but... I have a good feeling. Oh, populist policies. With the Legion largely in control of the Parliament, Kanjanu, as Prime Minister, has submitted a piece of legislation to the Chamber of Deputies. It is an open secret among parliamentarians that the legislation has little su substance and is meant to woo the people and garner support for the captain's land reform program. Carol II's Camarilla is uneasy about letting Kanjanu get away with such blatant demagoguery and suggests that the king veto the legislation, but doing so would hurt his popularity among a large segment of the population. But who cares, right? Alternatively, it is also suggested that the king could use his influence or threaten the Prime Minister into giving credit to his majesty instead Boosting the image of the royalists instead. Is it legislation? Uh, yeah. I, oh, God. That's a lot of political power we're going to lose. Organize it. Organize. We'll do that. That's fine for now. We could use more popularity for ourselves anyways. It could give us more uh, political power. So, it is what it is. Tired of the paternal autocrats, huh? Uh, I wonder if they have... I'm pretty sure Serbia will probably have the decision that they can go to war whenever they want. Union Day, though. Happy Union Day. And now we no longer have a negative amount of political power, which is great. Which is great. Please keep attacking. Actually, you guys, if you were smart, you'd attack right here. And circle a couple divisions, make them go bye-bye. But I guess they're not. Yeah, we definitely need some more support equipment now. Mm. Mm -hmm. Too bad that the negotiations at the Ausgleich did not turn out so well for us. That is quite disappointing. Oh, Ottoman Empire's on fire. Oh, that's good. Uh, I'm not going to help him out, though. And once we do go, once we go to war with Austria, or I'm really hungry, we get our divisions back. Two versus two should be okay, especially if we're fighting in, ooh, forests. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. If it's two versus two, that's not bad. I'm just concerned about Brasso. Oh, especially right here too. Oh my gosh. And right here, we don't even have even have enough divisions. Period. Ah, uh, we're just not ready yet. Actually, how's this descent coming? Nine percent. They have two percent compliance. Is this going up any further? Nine percent. 9.2? I like it. If we could have a full-blown rebellion here, that would be amazing. Yeah, Bink. Don't you want a full-blown rebellion, Binky? I think you do. That's why you're biting the sheets, because you're you're anticipating the war, the conflict that's going to come out of this. Absolutely. 280. Mm, the federal collapse. Shocking. Can I... Oh, we already have artillery. I was going to say, can we replace artillery? Oh, God. The USA is gone. Hey, well, and the CSA is probably going to win. That is not good. Everything for country, which is very good. This stuff is going to be good. This stuff is high altitude training could be very good for us. That could be good. That could be... Uh, oil. Civilian factors, infrastructure, more stuff. Study the legionnaires, not bad. Uh, autocracy, not bad. Autocracy. Population could be very, very useful. The Carpathian. You know what? We could probably do this one first. So, it is no secret that we will be fighting in the Carpathians once again, soon. The great chain of mountains greatly favors the defenders, and while Austria-Hungary controls the passes, we must be ready to meet their attacks head-on. Fortifications will ensure that any attack will pay a serious price and allow us to counterattack effectively. Yeah, that's probably the best thing we could do right now, just because M Munentia, M Montenia, and Moldavia, especially even up here in Buc Bukovina, could be very good. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, okay. Mystery Who cares? Yeah, even if we can get oh, an Olentia. Otenia. Oh. He's off my bed. He sat on my chair. Cool. Even here, we really need forts. We're going to kill so many Hungarians and Galician Lodomerians, or really Poles, and Hungarians in this upcoming conflict. I, oh my gosh. If we go to war early, though, with them, please, Project, I'm going to rush these divisions out. We have to. Support weapons, too. Very nice. Yeah, let's not do that one yet. Uh, how's this coming along? Uh, we're still getting there. We don't even have that. Uh, just go and do that one. That's fine. Whatever. I, we just have to be ready for anything. You never know when things are going to hit the fan. Ooh, more uprising. Armed. 
What's the difference? Ten, minus 10.1. 10 you don't lose 0.1. Um, resistance target. Resist. There's nothing separate. Organize the uprising is more effective. Or you don't lose political power. How are we supposed to get enough guns to do this? I mean, sure, I'm training guys, but we already have enough guns for now for our guys who are, you know, here, I think. Yeah, they already have max equipment, I think. So. Yeah? Yeah? Interwar artillery is going to be very nice. Liberia, watch out. The Liberians are getting armed. Go and do that one. I know it's ahead of time, but we just have to get more output. More, 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 more. I know I did say I want to get to the Danube, the Danube Delta, but... That, I really want that. But we need this one, too. High altitude training is going to be really good for infantry attack, defense, and movement. For everyone. That's really good. I like this, but we can't get their violence in the streets. While the Legion holds paramilitary para activities, I can't speak, sorry, on a tight leash, opposition to Kanjanu across the political spectrum has never fully been silenced. Earlier t today, ac activists had taken to the streets in protest, only to be met by violence as Kanjanu's green shirts descended on them. While it is uncertain whether their leader organized their actions, we are in a position to turn a blind eye on the fighting and let the Iron Guards silence the dissidents, or have security forces intervene to fight the green shirts. Uh, no, I'm not going to lose uh, uh, party popularity. You got another thing coming if you think I'm going to lose my party popularity. We're still a nationalist populist, technically, so we gotta wait. We unfortunately have to wait. It's an unfortunate silence that we must have. Maybe next time, I'll, I'm definitely playing probably next time as a legionary Romania for a while. Maybe not the entire time, because a lot of people want me to play as Michael, even though Kanjanu seems like a lot of fun as well. Uh, let's see, yeah. That actually would be, it might be easier for us to take Transylvania if we're playing as Kanjanu, you know, supporting him instead, so. This would be nice. I like this. Anti-Hungarian propaganda. Can we please have a uh, recruit monarch of separatists? No. Cool. Oh, look at that. Secret military mission. What is that? Resistance target? Uh, a arm separatist. Oh, we gotta do that one too. Either one of these two. We'll probably do that one first since we need sabotage railways and that probably has the pre prerequisite of arm the separatist cells. Yeah. Definitely this one first though. Oh my god, at least it's less than a thousand. Come on, make more guns, 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 guns. Uh, I'm an American. More guns. Let's do this. Danube Delta. So, the Great Danube forms our southern border and it's essential for both our defense and our economy. Now that it is finally in our hands, again, we can utilize it once again as an artery of trade, transport, and shipbuilding industry. Which we actually get more factories to use, which is actually really, really nice. What's going on over here? Are we hanging out? Are we having a good time? Are we about to get encircled? Probably. Japan announces her ambitions. Very good. And the reason why I'm speaking fast throughout this entire episode is because Kaiserreich moves slowly. It's only 1938. Yes, it's only the second episode, but it's it's still only the second episode. It's only like April 1938, so I want to move quickly if we can. Good. Oh, I'm almost roughly 50 guns a day. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Come on, guns, because taking doing this is going to take forever. Blood on the streets. Uh, if you want to read this one, go right ahead. Just, you know, more fighting. Stability. The law must be obeyed. Let's go do that one. I don't want to lose any more stability, really. Yeah, organize the uprising. We'll probably do this one. Yeah. Oh! American you say deal with the devil, looks like. Yep. Interesting. Guatemala is on fire with other people. Cool, cool. 200. How's this looking? 24%. That's really nice. Is it going up anymore, though? Yes, it is. Yes. Uh, we could do... Th mm, fun separatists. We're going to do this one first, though, probably. Why can we not... Wait. we Why can we do this one first? It says 500. I'm going to do this one first so it unlocks everything else for us, too. Oh, look at that. Now it's all green. Good. I know I'm taking a while with this, but we kind of have to. Build up even more guns. Guns, 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 guns. Let's see. So we can do... Ooh. This would be nice. Even more resistance target sabotage railways would be very good, but we don't have enough. Actually, do we have enough? We might have enough uh, support equipment. We might. No, we have six. Probably because we're try still trying to make more divisions. Which we are. We have six. Oh, we have six divisions guarding the northern border. Good. No, oh, Chile's joined the third international. Harass garrisons. That's not bad. We need guns, support equipment, and political power. That's really good. Active for 90 days. That has been removed. Oh, that's not bad either. Strike the airfields? Hmm. I wonder how far we can get with this. Keep looking yourself, Pink. Oh my gosh, we need so many god dang guns. God dang it. Everything has a price. Ugh. Yep. 
Well, we get a free 100 political power. That's that's really nice. A free 100 political power. <laughs> Love it. And Unionist is yield. That looks really good. Dominionist victory in South Africa. Good for them. No one cares. War support. Good. Oh man. Uh, when can we get rid of this? The great the great game king's dominance. I really wish we could get rid of that. I really wish we could. Oh, secret military mission. Yeah, might as well. Even 5% more is really good to have. 30% nice. Keep increasing it. Keep increasing it. That's good. Because, good. The Danube is ours again. Despite the Treaty of Bucharest supposedly ensuring free access to the Black Sea, much of our economy has been strangled by the Bulgarian control of this Danubian Delta. As the river is perhaps the most important trade route. Now that the southern enemy has been vanquished, once more we can finally use the river to its full capability for moving goods and supplies without any Bulgarian involvement. We shall no longer be bound by the tyrannical treaty in this matter. The Delta is rightful part of Romania, now and forever. Free political power. Good. And city legionnaires. Mm hmm. Shells, not men. Expand fortifications. That's not bad. Oh, we get a bonus for our land action. Which you get. Oh my gosh! I didn't see this bleed our enemy dry. <gasps> oh yes, that looks good. More artillery attack and defense. Max planning and max entrenchment. Oh heck yes. The Corpul de Munta must be further expanded in order to properly defend our great mountains from the enemy. We need more, better trained mountaineers to ensure our successes in our campaign to liberate Romanians across the Carpathians. Oh my gosh! You're promising me more artillery effects? Yes. Even though we have a lot of fuel, we should really be using tanks. Whatever. That's fine with me. Actually, do we need any more resources? We finally have 15 civilian factories we can use on a single slot. That is muy bueno. Very, very muy bueno. Good, 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 good. Is there anything happening here? Guys, just just lose. I mean, you guys real sucky. This is real sucky hours here. Uh, Just lose Burgos. Oh, heck. What are you... What are you doing? Oh god, get the heck out of here. Venezuela, West Indies Union, okay. We have get the whole world in there, get in there. Oh. Uh oh. Escape. 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 Organize the uprising, please. I'd love to. But we can't. Maybe sabotage railways. That would actually be pretty good. Why can't we do that yet? Oh, there we go. There we go. Good, good, good. South African Civil War, good. I'll let you know. Hopefully, in 1939, we will go to war with Austria-Hungary. Even though they are building themselves up now, this resistance continues to go up, which is nice. Compliance for them is slowly going up as well, but ooh, Iron Guard expands. Eh, whatever, we get more war support, which is not really necessary right now, but whatever. Because even up to here, like, it's not good for them. Tons of political power, which is very nice. Um, anything else? We could go to war just to finish it off. Oh, we might... We're prepared to attack Austria. Do we have enough divisions defending here? Two, 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 two. That's not bad. Over here, though, let's go ahead and cancel that. Put you on medium back again. Because I need to make sure we have enough divisions over here as well, which is not good. Monarchy restored in Greece. You know what? I don't want to do this. We do that. Cut you out. Uruguay, cool. Didn't I just say, like, come over here? There you go. Oh. There you go. Even though they're the horses, that's okay for now. Tibet, Sichuan, plus 4,000. Please don't die. You can continue defending for now. That's fine with me. Yeah, doing all this extra resistance stuff, 10%, 5%, that's a total of, if I can do math correctly, 35%, which would be very nice. Very, very nice. Good. We have about triple their compliance in that state. About double, a little more than double. Not bad. Yeah. All, all the way up to here. That's really good, Banat. We don't know anything about their military. Except that they're out of manpower? Uh-oh. Actually, that's really, really good for us then. If they have no manpower, we can just start just killing their divisions and they can't replenish their manpower, hopefully. Now, they, we do go to war, though. They might raise their conscription level, so that doesn't really provide us that much. And Austria still has plenty of manpower. And these satellite states have plenty enough. So expand Mountaineer Corps, good. Oh, we need all the falling. Okay, yeah. Um... Shell's not man. Let's get this so we get a bonus to support artillery. So we have a severe manpower disadvantage against our likely enemies, making Romanian lives even more valuable. Material losses, meanwhile, are far easier to replace. As such, we must stockpile more and more weapons and ammunitions to ensure that artillery can properly shield our irreplaceable infantry. You know, as much as I love a double 100% bonus for artillery, I'm thinking right there, probably maybe better artillery production costs, like maybe 5%, maybe 10%. Oh, come on, Legionnaires, why are you taking synagogues? 
Anti-Semitism is definitely not new in Romania and has been widespread for some time, but the Legion has brought it to previously unimaginable levels. A common scapegoat in the past, the Jewish Romanians have increasingly become targets as revanchist sentiments radicalized large segments of the Romanian population. With alarming regularity, green shirts attack syn synagogues throughout the country with security forces often turning a blind eye. As yet another anti-Semitic incident has occurred, it remains to be seen how the divided authorities will respond. Punishers responsible. Yeah, let's do that one. That just makes sense for us. Uh, man, just... You don't have to hate them, just make them your side checks. There you go. That makes everyone happy. Probably not. But, you know what? Maybe that's a possibility. Uh, maybe defend here? That'd be kind of nice. Oh, this part of Spain is so incredibly sad. That is disappointing. Socialist Republic of Argentina. Cool. And what do we have over here? Can we do anything with this? No, we just have to wait a little bit longer. Come on. Oh, yeah, the CSA is definitely going to win. The American Union State just can't beat these guys up. When they got New York City, it, it was pretty much over. Yeah, it was pretty much over. Even though with this latest update in Kaiserreich, with patch one, well, point one three, the uh, focus tree for the CSA apparently was cleaned up more. So, especially in terms of the military, so that's what I've heard. I haven't actually looked at the tree myself yet, but that's what I've heard at least, which sounds very, very nice. The fall of Madrid. Huh. Well then. You never know what might happen here. You really might not, never know. And... Central Asia is killing itself. I know this video has gone on very long, just like the last one, but we really have to spend extra time in Kaiserreich because, like I said earlier, Kaiserreich's laggy. It takes time to process. But I'm loving this. Oh, yeah. Does this go any higher? 0.8. No, it is not going up any higher. That is disappointing. That is incredibly disappointing. Oof. Yeah. Oh, is this going up any higher as well? Point. Oh, it is. That's not good. Come on, resistance. Come on. You're taking forever. Why does it take so long? Why does this take so long? That's big disappointing. For 54, five days, come on. Seriously, five, five, that, really, really? That takes forever. That takes so long. And there goes Carlos Spain, where at least our division didn't die. And he can come back and actually help us out, which would be actually a very good thing. Defend here, defend over here, and then defend in the center. Okay, so we got more resistance here for them. Thank the Lord. Oh, it's going up, good. It's going by 80% due to garrison fulfillment. Nice. Suck up on those Hungarian divisions. Good. Come on, get another one. Even more resistance. This last one is going to be really good. 20%. we got to wait that long. We'll probably go, definitely go to war in early 1939. 0.9. Can you go up by 0.2 every day, please? 0.10. Nice. Nice. Okay, we got our extra division. That's good. Come here. Shells, not men. This gives us time to get even the even more of this. So, expand the fortification. So, the current line of fortifications is completely inadequate. While Davia remains poorly defended, the line must be extended to cover the northern passes before we can improve the existing strong points. But that's probably where we're going to leave today's episode. This episode has gone on long enough. If you enjoyed it, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you all tomorrow when we will go to war with Austria-Hungary and her allies. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.